Hello everybody. I set up a very important experiment using a hanging uh, steel nut that goes on the end of a bolt. Okay, it was seen in my previous video just before this one. And I want you to see the characteristics of the stator. This is so important that you all see visually where the magnetic flux begins and ends and how it's focused to the front of this. Um, I don't have any of that uh, magnetic uh, film that, that uh, I can use. I did have some, but I used it on too strong of a magnet because I laid it right on it. I ruined it. Anyway, so watch as I move this back and forth. This nut follows the edge of the stator. See that? Okay. That nut has no interest in the middle, has no interest here, and has no interest back here either. It only wants to focus on where it is not shielded. Because here, even though there's um, aluminum foil tape, that's all there is. It's not shielded. It's open. Just like this one. This is not shielded. Okay? And on the back side, this is shielded. Alright? So watch this. These are pins. I'll keep my hand out of the way. See how it wants to stay to the front of the stator? Now it just falls to the back. Okay. And I'll push this back. See how it's focusing on the front? It doesn't have any interest in the back side of this. As you can see, if I move this away, my pin is in no way magnetic. You see? Oops, sorry about that. My pin has no effect on this. It's just a regular pin. Here, I'll take off the lid. Maybe I shouldn't even bother to use the pen. I can't get the lid off with one hand. I can't get the lid off with one hand without setting down the phone. Then that'll ruin the shot. So, forget it. Anyway. So, I'll turn the pen around this way. We'll do this again. As you can see, the nut is attracted to the front. Okay. So, my point of the video is that the flux, the magnetic field coming out of this box, metal box, is all concentrated on the front. Think in terms of like a gun, and the flux is firing out the front. Yes, there's no projectile, so please excuse the terminology. But, as you can see, it focuses the flux, the magnetic field, and this acts like a barrel, if you will. Okay, so we get this effect of where the magnetic flux is only in this point forward and there's no to little to no magnetic flux of magnetic field coming out of this box from about here backwards toward the rear. And to demonstrate that one last time, I'll use this metal piece here and you'll see. There's no magnetic attraction, okay? And this is the stator. As you can see, the same thing with this stator here. No magnetic attraction. If I turn this around though, of course it's going to attract it. Okay. okay. Now, a guy posted, said, well, why don't you build one of these from scratch or from beginning to end and then wrap the tape around it? I did. This is it, I don't know, it's four or five videos back. I get some people a little too lazy um, and they're quick to fire off a comment before they look at a few other videos. And if they're really serious about this, my God, go and look at the videos. I have a lot of people that have told me they have watched and studied with greatest detail 
every single video I ever made. And I believe them. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to show you that characteristic, how all of this magnetic flux is all focused on the front of my stators, my James Roney stators. So, it's very important you all understand that. Now, on this one here, this still has the, the batteries in the back. I no longer use the batteries. What I've been doing, I've been taking VCRs apart. I put that on video as well, live. And so, I'm using Mu Metal because in some VCRs, they have Mu Metal in them. That's M U M E T A L, Mu, Mu Metal. And that stuff works like just amazing how well that stuff works for shielding. So, anyway, so this is a Mu Metal box. And then I put an extra layer of Mu Metal from about this part on backwards. So, we get two layers of Mu Metal. There's no dead batteries in here, none. If you go to my video where I made this, you'll see that. Alrighty, that's it. Thank you guys again. Hopefully this will settle some arguments and some concerns we've had uh, from a lot of you all posting and saying I'm lying. I'm being called a liar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, that I'm cheating. Uh, I fake all of this. You know, it was interesting. Somebody left a really good comment, actually. I said, any more... He, I, I'm going to paraphrase, but basically he said, any moron could go into their basement, in that if you have a basement... And go downstairs in your basement or shop and get all these basic parts that you need and order a magnet off of uh, off the web and put this together yourself and see if this really works or not. I mean, you all, a lot of you all have this power trip of typing on your computer, typing whatever it is you want to say. But you all don't want to get your hands dirty and see if I'm telling the truth or not. You just want to accuse me of lying cheating and not being honest in my videos well by god just go make one of these yourself and you will see it works exactly as i show you otherwise you're a moron don't come back and please just leave and i know you'll give me a thumbs down on your way out i'm sure all right for the rest of you thank you for your support that felt good <laughs> anyway so um have some fun give this a try and uh, hopefully, once I get my my home sold, I'll, I'll I'll be back in in the black again, and I'll buy some machine time at a machine shop, and we'll get a whole bunch of these made really, really nicely, and then we will see how well this works or doesn't. All right, that's it. That's all the news that's fit to print here from Lake. We'll be gone. Take care now.